and welcome back my friends dodging <laughs> look for a haven stealing life prevents the enemies from reaching you enemy. i thought it was one enemy i beat him why is this loading screen taking way longer than the last time that's odd that's all good continue I have a heart but he still got up. The page How do you do predicted that? all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What yeah. the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. We need to make sense of all of this. What happened to the sheriff? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Yeah, how the fuck did that happen? Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. I don't know. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Alright, that's the other pages on the floor. Oh yeah. Let's Saga read this. Was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Oh, this is the future. This is about to Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Major collected. Well, he went to Cauldron Lake. This. Oh, shit. Oh, ammo. Cool. Must be locked from the other side. I'm just glad I got ammo. Ammo's huge, actually. Right. I can't even see down there, it's so dark. Jesus fucking Christ, look at that. It won't open. Alright, let me just go to my mind place, I guess. Alright, F. Nightingale a attacked dead man us. Turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. Yep. There's no rational explanation. There isn't, is there? This is the case we must solve. Okay. We got this. Where did Nightingale go? Saga had to pre. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. <clears throat> According to this page, it sounded like Nightingale went back to Caldrake and he's a Taken? The overlap. What? These pages aren't making sense. I agree, it is a lot. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Woohoo! We love a good cult case. 
Case closed. Yeah, so now we know it's a cult. That's good. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. So they're making, yeah. Um, I don't have an explanation for this. How are they doing this one? Cults, oh my God, there's so many. The cult rituals, the victim's body and organs is covered in no. Oh. He was the only victim. Then he was the only victim to become a monster. Then he only victim to become a monster. Why? Victim of cult killing became monster. I don't believe in her. Cult symbols. Let's put it in under cult symbol. No? Psychology? Nope. Cult ritual. Writing part of the ritual. There's still more? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I think we're good now. Discovered everything we can, I guess. Right. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get yeah. spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. They're not going to believe that. You two handle that. things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck oh, me. That's terrible. But we'll do what we can, man. Okay. They would just believe it. That's crazy, right? The one... Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. That's all crazy talk. That's crazy oh, talk. Him? What do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like poof? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. I love these two. Magic's not real. Right. Mulligan. It reminds me of um Monsters aren't real. The two bullies from like the original series of um Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But like not them specifically, but like the music. Like, look them up. Like, their theme song was like, it it was so fucking good. I love that song. I don't have a key for that. Oh. I need something to cut this. Oh, I can't open that. Oh, that's fine. We'll come back later. We'll probably get some shit for that. Mm, they're a fine pair. Yeah, we like them. They're actually funny. Hello. Hi. My clients have been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. We definitely need backup. Spare. ASAP. Look at this guy. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. What 
What's this? Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. Huh. Okay. I'm glad Mayor Setter won't, but. Alright. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Hell yeah. Or maybe three. Yeah, why not three? Alright, let's go back to Cauldron Lake. I need to come clean, Anderson. Uh huh. I know why Nightingale was here 13 <laughs> years ago. He was yeah, chasing but the Alan Wake case. Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. <coughs> you know the detective character from his books. Alex sure. Casey. Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. Oh. It annoyed me, but that was it. That's actually pretty huge i didn't realize that yeah he was an fbi agent named casey and we didn't know his first name until now though it was alex so it's interesting um especially keep in mind it might not be a coincidence because the thing about the whole alan wake case and with this whole weird entity is that some of the things that he writes comes true um, so maybe this Casey guy that I'm with, maybe he's created by Alan Wake. That could be it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. Jesus. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies start to pile up. In New York. A murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. <laughs> the cult was copycatting the murders from the books. Jesus Christ. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case... They like him that much. ...looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for telling us. I mean, thanks for telling us at all. Turn to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure overlap, out exactly huh? what that means. Whose bike was that? Whoa. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. We already got the map. So someone's I here. Pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. This is a beautiful looking game, like goddamn. I feel like I'm um, playing like Firewatch again. This is like the bad ending of Firewatch. I more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? That's a good point. My experience, they don't. 
We're not seeing the full picture yet. Um. Hello? Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hey. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Oh, Fantastic to yeah. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And the I'm Federal Bureau of... Okay, that's actually huge. Okay, so the FBC is the Federal Bureau of Control, and that's the the... the the company that is run out of New York that takes all of like the X Files things that happen in the world and just like compiles it all there. So that is an interesting reference. We hear about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's I want to go to our sauna, Coffee World Sauna. Sa <laughs> sauna. And we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking. Whatever I want to do Sauna. Fancy, you name it, we probably got it. Pro that's a good slogan. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. Yeah. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. But oh, I'm worried. Gorgeous weather saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom yeah. used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Birka. Klaus, my mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. That's awkward. How do we have more? Steven, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can't not run through a garbage can. Well, I need to get back to it. A Lua knife, huh? Gonna take a look inside. What'd you find there, Steven? Something that shouldn't be there. Interesting. Let's grab this. Maintenance, clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alert will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigations department. Leave this here in case I'm not the next person to fix things. Maybe in this check for tampering. I'm up here. Fuck is this? Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. We're all in this Casey together, hates hero. Casey jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Manuscript fragments. Alex Casey lunchbox. Answer can be used to upgrade weapons in the mind place tab. What? Increase the magazine size by 50%. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. 
Land two headshots in quick sense to stun an enemy for extended. Ooh, that's really good. I think either of those two are really good. I don't know about auto fire though. But okay. I mean, who am I to say? Who's to say? All right, come on. Let's we got to places the to side, go. Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Uh, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Yeah, they did not want me having manuscript pages. The details are kind of a uh, confusing part. Our crime scene's drowning. I never mind the rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Oh. We've seen this symbol before. From the necklace. Hmm. Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detectives. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. <laughs> I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Let's go to the map. Triangle ritual. Here's the cult symbol. Boom. And the signature they intend this body to be discovered. Alex can't you see lunchboxes. Points of interest cases track objects and information that Saga's acquired to chart collection progress. I don't know what that means. Finding a Casey Moody lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? That seems kind of crazy. Lunchbox found by the FBC monitoring station at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Oh, so there's multiple of these. Oh. Bare feet. Footprints. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case? On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Not gonna lie, I'm a little skewed. Point of interest. 
Can I go to the point of interest? Because, like, that's probably important, right? Large amount of things to bet on. Someone sleeping in here? This. Monday, September 3rd, some suspicious, suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday, nothing to report. Some animals, regular. Hunters out after dark. Poachers? Heard some gunshot. It's not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out here. Or uh, out there. Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just oh. one case without the rent. A triangle. I don't oh, get God. it. Yes, you do. I don't get it. Well, that was interesting, but let's keep keeping on. Hey, hello. Like this. Into the water. Where'd you go from here? Oh, I do not like this. Fuck. I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. You overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. Threshold. Threshold. A threshold. Next stop. Algara Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is Ladle? Interesting. Um, which is ladles down that way. I know, um, hold on. Control threshold. Uh,. Okay, thresholds are locations acting as connections between Earth and other dimensions. Yeah, that's what we learned in Control. So this can connect us. Give us some good shit. Okay, give us all the good shit.
I going the right way? Which way is it? Okay. So this is Witch's Ladle. Witch's Ladle. Okay. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape. And yet there are many mystery, mysterious stories of, about the lake. It being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend, the, the legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. He was dr She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoer. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. Oops. With that heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Okay. Interesting. Kind of works one-on-one. -on -one, uh, makes sense with the whole Nightingale shit. What is that? That's the threshold. Like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Yeah. You can toggle the flashlight boost to increase the damage to darkness and burn through the dark sub- Whoa! My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. Oh, I only have so much flashlight when I do that shit. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. Uh-huh. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Okay, so where's the witch's hut? Oh, it's over there. Okay, we can do that. I'm a little nervous, though. So it's... Okay, yeah, we're going the right way now. Okay, that's weird. Rocks falling? Why would there be rocks falling? Just Following a deer. Keep checking in. Roger. This fuse is busted. Friday. Mitch told me that her family was moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? Sunday. So I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. Excuse me. I feel like that's something you would write <laughs> in your diary. You would just say like, talk about some bad shit and just be like, fucking kill me. Monday. I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just sitting around like I always do. Did rain just hit that? Huh. Um. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Cool. Hell yeah. There's some ammo? What is that? Or is that like 
health kit. This one looks good. Oh, people fuse. should really stop littering, though. Cool. A lunchbox again. Where? Who's leaving these out here. Where's the lunchbox? Well, there it is. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Fucking Alan, man. He's here, he's there, he's every fucking where. Live the comfy where a spare may still haunt this place. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. Yeah, I mean, I can turn this on. Fuse in. Look at that, we got a little light. Oh, we got a little save room. That's cool. Look at this is a nice, it's a nice place. What that? Oh, what if I? Is this manual save? Quick save? Cool. Rad! Okay, so we got a little Another save page. spot. Oh. Making progress. This? The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. A smudged line on the heart. A second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. I Show me the terror. I Saga brought the witch the heart through the hole in the sign. I brought it. Interesting. I brought it to the witch. In it's very interesting that Saga would do that. Why would she do that? I guess to open up the the threshold. But that's kind of crazy. All right, let's um go into the mind palace. Interpret the page's meaning. Wait, there was... Jesus Christ, I missed some. Oh. I didn't know there was, like, hidden ones I missed. Jesus. It's bored. This is Alan. Alan, wait, what the hell are these? Right, let's go to the close of the tree. Large amount of supplies. Well, how long have they been out here? That's a good question. Murder a cauldron. Perfect. So we, yeah, we know that he went to there. Get the priest's helmet where to find the fuse. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we'll we'll quick save and we'll pick it up next time. Until then, my friends, I'll see you.